Right. So uh, as far as uh, the guideway testing itself is concerned, we discussed about, uh, uh, already we discussed about the testing part, etc. all that. At the same time, even we discussed about API testing on a high level note, <clears throat> followed by this, even we discussed about detailed process in the uh, previous session. Today, I'm going to discuss about API testing. API testing, uh, wherein if you want to develop any communication between two different applications to access the data, generally API is what something we have to create, either it can be RESTful API, Web API, SOAP API, all that. In this regard, so whenever there is any creation of testing was done so far by us, it is important for us to do the testing part, right? So testing because whether, what are the communication we have created, right? So what are the API we have created? performing well or not, right? In this regard, it's always important for us to use Postman. Postman is one kind of API testing tool, which normally uses uh, exponentially in the uh, application development, especially whenever we are working on migration projects or in regular projects, what are the projects and all everything. So in this regard, it's always important for us to have an API network because different different internal as well as public APIs will be there. This is completely depends on what kind of API are we using. Either it can be an uh, uh, either it can be a personal API, public API, or it can be a private API. Public API which can be accessed in general, but private APIs are majorly used within the organization when we are maintaining and all. So in this regard, it's always important for us to understand about uh, the environments first because we need to create an environment. So whatever the required environment we have created and all so that we can set the kind required variables and all everything majorly allow us to switch the context from the request and all everything. In this regard, it's always important for us to create an environment. So create an environment is what something which I have uh, uh, created over here. So whenever we have created an environment here, you can see, right? So here we need to write down the environment. For example, um, software integration, right? So this is what, uh, right? The software integration is an environment I am creating because if you want to integrate any applications and all, software integration is what something we have to do. Now, whenever we are working on software integration, here we need to filter the data variables. That is important. Filtering the data because for that, whatever the required data variables we have and all. So that data variables we have to be added. Next, if you want to add any kind of new variable here, you can add it, right? For example, data is a variable I'm taking, right? So here we need to take it as a default. Initial value, wherein whatever the required value you want to be taken or you're you are taken this existing value, right? So all these things will be taken. For example, uh, one more is uh, quantity. Right, so quantity is what generally the default I have taken, wherein I'm mentioning our four as well. So this is how generally when it comes to the integration, software integration as a environment, as an variable, when you are going to create for the existing application, this is what and how usually these variables and all everything is what something which we can create. So like this, there are multiple variables we can create, especially whenever we are working on the API testing using Postman API. Next year, you can see there will be an option where if you want to export the data, for example, this is all something useful for us to maintain manually by the team. Okay, here you can see there is an option called export. Whatever the required environment, if you want to export and all, here you can export it, right? So because this is all something which is majorly useful for us to maintain the records, right? So for other purpose, generally, this is majorly useful for, otherwise there is no much importance because to maintain the data and all everything for that purpose generally this is what something which we are using right so we can maintain the data and we can use it accordingly that is all something to the record purpose and all everything will be maintained in this regard at the same time if you want to send or if you want to share this information here you can see there is an option called share right so if you want to share save and share so that we can save it and you can share it right so to whom you are going to share it so that email address and all everything is what something which we can create, right? So I'm just create, I'm writing one email ID of mine. Okay, so this is what the email ID I have taken, right? So if you want to create any kind of workspace for this environment, we can create. Or else if you want to change any kind of workplace visibility and all everything, we can do it. 
So we, because I am choosing a created team workspace of this move in the environment is what something which normally I did. And simply I am clicking on invite, right? So inviting one user to the team because multiple people are working for the project, especially from the context of testing and all. Multiple people here, you can see environment has been moved to the new team workspace. Workspace, right? This is how generally the workspace the team environments and all everything, whatever that we have created so far, that can be transformed. So initially what we have to do, we have to share it to the people who are involving in the project because there are multiple people who will be involving in the project, right? So either it can be testing team, multiple testing rules, either it can be a manual testing, people will be involved in it. Automation testing, people will also be involved in it. Even people who are doing this database testing or ATL testing, people will also be involved. At the same time, API testing, majorly to focus is on the API testing part. So API testing is also some of uh, API testing, even we have to perform it. So when you want to create API testing, you know, this is what something as an environment which we have to be created when we are working on this application. So creating an environment is the first and foremost thing whenever we are working on the guideware testing, because when you want to uh, test the application in context to the guideware application if you want to do any kind of testing etc it's always important for us to know about how this communication we have to develop and whatever the apis we created and how these are acting and how these are behaving is important in this regard this is what something which we have to be performed first initially to start with i'm saying initially to start with this is what and how environment is what something which we have to be created at the same time, if you want to have any kind of it is optional because uh, creating a new workspace for the project, whatever the work of project you are working on, because different, different projects we work, right? So multiple projects for multiple workspaces can be created so that there won't be any confusion further when we are working on the project. But there are possibilities sometimes team may work for multiple projects at a time. For example, if you have taken a senior test professional role, there are possibilities. I'm not generalizing this statement for all the projects. There are possibilities, depends on the importance and all. So their involvement will be there on the multiple projects also. So that whoever the person are we calling here, or the, whoever the person we have taken here. So for them, we can integrate them and we can use it for the different, different workspaces is what something we have to do. Next, we need to set up the team, right? So this is what something we have to do. For example, uh, policy management. Okay, I'm just writing the name of the, because we are working on the guideware testing, guideware related testing, right? In context to that, guideware have three things. One is about policy center, second is billing followed by claims. These are the three will be there. So I'm taking a project called policy management system, right? So this is what the team name I have mentioned here. Next, what will be the work, team work will you be there, right? So for example, testing the existing APIs or designing and building new APIs or something like that. Testing, testing existing APIs is what's something which we are selecting and clicking on confirm. Right, so policy management work, workspace is what created, you can see, right? So environment which we have created a software environment. At the same time, we have created an environment which is where policy management, policy management workspace is also created like this. Now, if you want to write down the description for the workspace and all, you can write down. Uh, this is used to manage policies that we issue. To the customers. And also, if there is any add, edit, update, and delete of data, can be done in this uh, functionality. Okay not the workspace i'm talking about description of it okay this is the functionality right so this is what something which i have written next if there is any kind of updates and all right so if you want to have any kind of updates and all everything we can add it that is come that is normal 
Now, if you want to manage any kind of workspaces, here already we have one team member. Of course, mine, I, I myself has uh, uh, logged into the Postman uh, API. So that's the reason why I have taken myself as a admin, right? So I'm an admin, right? Where I have, where if you want to configure any kind of sidebar collections, we can. At the same time, I'm enabling APS also because APS is also important over here. Next environment speaking. At the same time, if you want to create any kind of mock servers or something like you can do it, but it's not required. But flows are important. Flows is also important here in we have taken here. Now, if you want to select any kind of theme or something of that, right, right? So you can take up the theme of it, right? So theme color, we can select even, right? So that is all, uh, this is all something for combinations and all, and you can simply apply theme. Right, so here, here you can see this is very generally simply you are applying the theme for the existing application, what we do. So when we are working on API testing, especially as far as the guideway testing itself is concerned, whenever we are going to create any communication between applications or two different applications, whenever we are writing APIs and all. So API testing is what something being a guideway testing person, professional, we have to perform it. So if you want to do that, it's always important for us to create an environment first. So once we have created an environment, it is also important for us even to create what are the different different APIs do we have. So that also has to be created in this regard. So these are the two major things which we have to be understood. Right. So when you are working on existing into the existing workspace or something of that sort, this is what something which we have to be interested. Next, if you want to enter any kind of uh, untitled request and all everything, we can do it. But as of now, it is not required because the process has not yet started it so that we don't do it. Next, but at the same time, we are configuring it because even even API configurations can also be done. And at the same time, if you want to create any, any, any kind of API, here you can see create an API. So new API, this is where generally we have to create an API. So if you want to create an API, there are four different options. Means, for example, if you want to connect this API repository with GitHub, because GitHub is a repository, code repository management, where we can connect with. At the same time, Bitbucket. Bitbucket, Bitbucket is also one of the code repository, which can be used for application development. At the same time, GitLab for the large scale of data. At the same time, Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps, Azure is a cloud environment. At the same time, DevOps environment, wherein we are creating some data pipelines and all everything will be created. In this regard, this is where generally we have to connect with. We have to connect with either Azure DevOps or GitHub or Bitbucket or GitLab is what something which we can do. Rather, or else we can continue without a repository. So if you don't require to connect with any kind of repository, we can create. Or else if you want to connect to any kind of GitHub or something of that sort, we can create. That is all. That is of our choice. So this is what something today is all about and how to create this API, especially to perform testing, especially in uh, using this Postman uh, uh, tool, right? So using that, especially on guideware testing and all that we are going to discuss in tomorrow's session, right? So that's it.